Diabetes, it's an enormous issue. There are already over 400 million people worldwide who've got diabetes, and it's heading towards half a billion. I almost can't imagine what it would be like to be a parent with a child who's suffering from diabetes. You have to prick their fingers or their stomach and take blood multiple times a day. It'd be awful. So what we've been able to do here at the University of Newcastle is to develop organic electronic sensors that can detect the glucose in your saliva. So now we've got the prospect of replacing all of that pain with a simple test, a device you just lick. I knew from when I was about nine that I wanted to be a scientist. And probably from about 11, I knew I wanted to be a physicist. So that was, was kind of a bit odd. But knew that in doing science, make a difference. Do things that made things better. The University of Newcastle is unique because we go from fundamental studies to invention to large-scale demonstrations outside in community. So that's really unusual for a research centre to take that entire innovation pathway. I think that our enthusiasm for engaging with the student, regardless of their level of expertise or experience or knowledge, is unique. There is no student who's too junior to be involved directly in the research that we do. So one of the things that we do is we will stop and have tea. It's an opportunity for everyone to come together on an equal footing, just sitting around the tables and talk. And what's interesting is that the talk is always about science. It's so powerful because it's a way in which you can solve problems together. Organic electronics is based on a class of materials, polymers or plastics, that act as electronic materials like silicon. But now we can dissolve them up and turn them into inks or paints and make electronic devices completely differently. So that can be, for example, biosensors that we can then print and put into patients. Or it can be solar cells where we can print kilometers and put them on buildings. So organic electronics could shape the world that we live in. I think it's going to revolutionise how people who are suffering from diabetes manage their disease. A pain-free way of testing. At the core of the work that we do here at the University of Newcastle is being able to see those inventions in community making people's lives better. That'd be cool, wouldn't it?